Christina Dunn, love Hello. your ink work and everything, Thank looking gorgeous you. in person. Thank you. S seen you on uh, social media a million times. You know what? She looks just as good in social media as she does in person. So oh, there you thank go. Thank you. Some people put filters and everything. And then, you know, you see them and you're like, I maybe do that sometimes. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. well, she looks good in person too, you, you guys. Really good. And you know, all the thing about her is it's one, it's done because she does it right the first time, right? I try. Yep. So now you were just in Austin for the behind the chair. Yes. And you're still recovering. Yes. Okay, so what happened? Tell us about that <laughs> So Austin, I was there for four days, and I was there with um, Pulp Riot. I was teaching as well, yeah. so I got to, you know, do all the festivities. I also was nominated, so. Right um, on, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Was it fun over there? I know it was hot and humid, because I was there the week before, and it was only in the 100, maybe 103, I guess you guys got 110 or more. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly how hot, but the humidity was out of control. Like, yeah, but the party was out of control too, I'm sure. Kind of. <laughs> But you made it through. <laughs> made you had it a great there. time. I'm back. Yes. You're back. Okay. Yep. So back to work this week. Yes. Back to work. Okay. So now, if you look at you on a typical week, mm -hmm. what what do you do? T t walk us through your week. What, what's your basics? Um, I work five days a week. Okay. I alternate my weekend days, Saturdays and Sundays, because I have two kids. Okay. Um, my husband's also a hairdresser, so awesome. he always has to work on Saturdays. Oh, okay. So we kind of work that out. Um, I work. I don't work evenings because of my kids as well. Yes, I understand. And yeah, I usually am booked fully. I rent two chairs. I have an assistant. Okay, so you do booth rental? Yes. And you're in San Diego area, correct? Yes, I am. Okay, and are you a native San Diegan or? I'm not, but I've been in San Diego for about 16 years now. Oh, wonderful, so wonderful. It's home. Good, yeah, we love it here. Um, we're lucky to have the great weather. And oh, absolutely, it's wonderful. beautiful. So here. what's your bread and butter? Um, bread and butter is my gray touch-ups. <laughs> Can I? Come on, you know yeah. what's up. So <laughs> we know lot. that Instagram, you, you don't really put pictures of gray coverage up on Instagram because not a lot of people will look at that. Right. But it is practicality, right? It and is. It is the it bread is. and butter, yeah. Yep. And the thing about it too is people don't realize, but when you do the, a lot of gray coverage, then you can have your assistant help you and you duplicate yourself. So Absolutely. that's really important. Yep. So do you work with an assistant? I do, yes. So what's your program? How does it work? Um, I'll have her help me put on my root touch-ups. Uh, and then toning, and sometimes I'll let her get hands on with uh, balayage or my vivids as well. Sure, so that's I'll great. So let her get in there and get her hands in there. That's great. And so yeah. once you have your formula, it's pretty well established, unless yeah. there's a change on the consultation, correct? Right, exactly. Right on. Exactly. And then, so you, do you work with one assistant, or you, because you know they don't last forever. Sometimes right. they get to the point where they need to move on. So yeah. how, how do you do that? So actually having an assistant is something new for me, and oh, I'm only on my second assistant right now. Congratulations. And uh, so the I... The first one I had for about a year, okay. and this the one that I have currently, I've had her for about three months now, four okay. months. Now, do you share with your husband? Do you guys work in the same salon? Do you so we don't work in a salon anymore, We okay. um, together anymore. We used to back in the day, okay. and now he is an instructor, and so he's not in the salon as much. Okay. And um, I'm just in my little suite with just me and my assistant. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So has the transition been uh, interesting for you going from the salon into your own business, you know, more entrepreneurial? Yeah. So um, it's been different. I've always worked in really big salons with like 15 plus other stylists. Different energy, right? Different energy completely. And I love that when I first was beginning because, you know, you kind of thrive on it. Yeah. And now that I've been in the industry for like 12 years, I... I'm okay with something smaller and mm -hmm. more intimate, and my clients really love it. So I'm at a new salon, and it's great. Like I have a little room. I was scared to be on my own, right? But now I love it, and I don't know that I can go back to being in a big salon. Now anymore. you're unemployable, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. That happens. <laughs> it does. So it worked out well for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is there some of the things like business-wise that you've realized when because. Okay, now I've owned many, many salons and mm -hmm. I've been doing this for almost 35, 40 years now. Right. And I noticed as I went through the process and moved into like ownership of salon, mm -hmm. it was a big difference. So right. you're not owning a salon, but no. you're kind of in an ownership position. Right. Do you notice anything? Do you appreciate things like, wow, the owner really had to do all these oh, things? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, just having to do, I do all my scheduling on my own. We don't have a receptionist. So having to take on all those tasks, it can be quite overwhelming, but I've gotten used to it now being over a year that I've been yeah. doing it. Um, but yeah, you do appreciate everything that you didn't have to do before. Yes, right. <laughs> you kind of take it for granted, I think, you yeah. know. Um, stylists are in a big salon where they have, you know, the manager and the front desk to help them with everything. Yeah. And doing that on my own has... The marketing, the advertising, absolutely. the fall through, the yeah. towels, the, exactly. the cleaning, all mm -hmm. that stuff, back yeah. bar, you name it, right? Right, right. So, okay, now that you're there, now, 
you use social media pretty effectively. Absolutely. And when did that start for you? Um, social media, let's see, I started my Instagram page about three years ago, I think wow, so. Wow, that's yeah. pretty fat. I yeah. Mean, that's not that long years. ago, honestly. No, it's not. And it didn't start to really grow until maybe like a year and a half ago. Okay, but what was the big difference? If you don't mind sharing, what, of course. Yeah, I, you know, the big difference, um, I became a sponsored artist. Right, that helped. And that helped a lot. And uh, I don't know, I feel like I worked my butt off to get my page to yeah. where it is now. <laughs> well, how much time would you generally spend once it started to go for you? What, what type, of, type of time? I mean, I probably, at the beginning, I spent hours. Now I can get it to where I can do my posts really quick. Right. Um, but it's still like 20 minutes per post. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, what about the picture taking and everything? How, oh, tell yeah. us your technique there. So and you're all by yourself, mm -hmm. you're with your assistant, and right. you have your room. Right. So do you use a ring flash? Do you go outside? Tell us about the picture taking process. So when I first started taking pictures, I used to use a ring light. Okay. And then I moved to our front room, which has um, indirect sunlight Natural. coming through the window. Okay. Natural lighting. But I also had all the products in the background, which I don't like. So I like a neutral background. I just want a flat white background. Okay. So now I started going outside of my door, and it's perfect. So I get that outdoor lighting. Yes. Hopefully it's not too late in the day. <laughs> yeah, right. It changes, doesn't so it? So it does change, yeah. But that's where I take most of my pictures is indirect lighting. You know what I've noticed too, which is a little bit of a trend lately, is that I've noticed that pictures have been taken in different light schemes and they post it. Like Guy Tang did something where he oh, showed yeah. all the different lighting mm -hmm. and, and how much that color was affected by that lighting. Because you know, we're picking up a lot of greens in here with these fluorescent lights and things right. of that nature. Right. You pick more reds and oranges outside with mm -hmm. the natural light. Definitely. Um, what I did in a couple of my salons, I got full spectrum lighting and it really helped. I don't know if you have that there or, or you just use mm -hmm. some, take them near the window. Yeah. Yeah. It makes yeah. a difference, doesn't it? It, is, it makes a huge difference. And some, some colors are harder to um, pick up, like metallics I've found are yeah. really hard They're to pick up. They're almost impossible, actually. They almost are, yeah, like rose golds and oh, silvers yes. and like stuff. Oh, yes, like metallic rose gold, yes, yeah. exactly. And they've got these new types of colors now. They're trying to do these type of oxidative metallics mm -hmm. that I've looked at them, and we've analyzed them because, you know, we're always looking at new things. Yeah. And, boy, they just start lasting. I mean, it's, it's unfortunate. Yeah. You right. feel the same way? Right, I do. Yeah, okay. so when you do these kind of exotic, maybe we call them rainbow colors, mm -hmm. we call them, you know, uh, unicorn colors or whatever we might yeah. call them, oftentimes they're really good with the time you take the picture, mm -hmm. but the fade out is not so good. So they have to understand yeah. the maintenance, right? Right. Yes. Yeah, definitely. I, um, my clients know what it takes to maintain their colors. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> consultation uh, when you come in, and then I have a question for you, but go okay. ahead. So consultation, uh, first question is, have you ever had, uh, let's talk about Vivids. Okay, so sure, let's we'll talk about Vivids. We'll start with that. So yes. have you ever had Vivids in your hair mm -hmm. at all, ever? Right, ever. And I kind of run through, and I'm very blunt with my clients. You should be. Absolutely, yeah. and they appreciate it, and that's why I am blunt with them. And I just say, okay, you have to wash your hair in cold water. You have to wash your hair once, maybe, maybe twice a week. Mm -hmm. Dry shampoo is your best friend and expect to be in here probably every like six to eight weeks if you really want that vibrant, yeah. fresh look all the Absolutely. time. And if you wanna embrace the fade, which can also be just as beautiful too, then I'll see you every couple of months. Okay. But just be prepared for this. And sometimes people are like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. And it's I'm like, good okay, that you well do then that, it's though. not it's for very you important. then. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, like I say, the bread and butter is the great coverage, but this mm -hmm. is where you get the social media posts. Exactly. This is what's on trend right now. Yeah. I mean, it changes. I mean, we're right. seeing different combinations of colors right now. Yeah. But the other thing was, is that when they get in there, what about when you do the consultation? How long is this going to take? How am I going to charge you? What to expect? Right, exactly. Go, go so um, most of the time I've already gone through part of my consultation through emails. I get a lot of clients through social media. Okay. So we start in the email and that's when I go over my pricing and how long it's going to take me. And I say, you know, I charge an hourly and okay, good. if we do something like this, it's going to take, you know, this many hours. If I do something like this, then it will take this many hours. And it's kind of up to you where you want to go and financially what works best for you. So. Right. It's all as though you're doing a corrective color. Absolutely. And that's what I say. I say I charge, you know, an hourly for a corrective color, rainbow, vivids. This is considered a corrective color. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. And then do you also, when you post, do you have them take a picture and post themselves? Because a lot of people told me that's one of the ways they've really grown is through having the individual actually post 
for themselves. Yeah, like selfies and yeah. stuff. Um, I don't I don't ask them to, but a lot of my clients do it anyways because right. they're helps. so happy with their hair. So yeah, well, that's great. <laughs> and it makes me happy that they want to post selfies of them. You know, yeah, their exactly. New fresh well, color. it helps build it, right? Yeah. So okay, now what about the continuity, consistency, and the content of your social media? That's what everybody wants because everybody has a different opinion on that. You know. Right. So what right. is your opinion? People want to know. Um, so I, we kind of been taught and I think a lot of people hear this, that you have to keep your page to one theme. So if you want to just have rainbow colors, just be posting that. But my thing is I like to throw in some of my balayage and okay. my highlighting, right. um, in there too, because I get a lot of clients just yes. from that. They're like, Absolutely. Oh wait, so she does rainbow and she could balayage too. Right. And I'm telling you, I get more inquiries when I do that. Yes. And so I stopped making my page all just rainbow. Yeah. And well, when you look at it from a business, cause now you're responsible, mm -hmm. right. these highlights, balayages, baby lights, foils, platinums yeah. are really more money. You make more yeah. money than the rainbow stuff in you the long do. run. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Remember, remember when we, <laughs> had these we've had these trends throughout the uh, history I mean you've been doing it for 12 years but mm -hmm. you've seen a couple of trends yeah. um, right now I think it's going back to some geometric cutting now and geometric layouts yeah. so how do you feel about that um, it's great I'm honestly not that good at it <laughs> I know well and thanks for being honest because a lot of people so that don't have ask only, me for any well, a lot of people, people that have been doing hair for 15 years now they didn't experience the 70s and 80s which we did right. we did a, a lot of geometric stuff very precision like stacking, wedging, all these other things. Right. So that a lot of people are saying that may come back. Mm -hmm. So it's time for some classes, you know? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> right? absolutely. And, and speaking yeah. of classes, yeah. all right, I wanted to transition this. <laughs> yes. You do classes. Tell us about that. I do. I'm really excited. So I, I just started doing some education and uh, back in January, I did a class okay. with my friend Isaac. I don't uh, Isaac from Air yep, on Instagram. Absolutely. Yep. So him and I did a class in San Diego together, and it went really well, and we had so much fun. And so now I'm going to do another one, and I haven't announced this yet, but Isaac is doing this class with me as well. Awesome. When is it so, going to be? So you can tell everybody. It's going to be September 11th. Um, okay. Tickets are still on sale. You can go to my page. Um, and I'll have a link up there to buy tickets. Wonderful. On my bio. So. Well, thanks for giving yeah. back. We really appreciate that. And thanks. I think we I need to teaching. do that. Yeah. The trend now is, you know, obviously we're manufacturers, but the trend now is is to bring people in that aren't necessarily connected to a brand because a lot of times, you right. know, it's just shoving it down people's throat. Yeah. I, as a stylist, I hated that. Right. I couldn't say, even now that I'm a manufacturer, I still hate that. Yeah. That's why we do channel neutral, hair just power, and things of that nature. I want it to be where people can learn from each other, yep. and it's not like a set thing, like a collection, always the same, shoving this trend down somebody's throat. I don't yeah. believe in that. No. So, no. you feel the same? Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, that's yeah. great they're giving back. So, Thanks. what about, um, for example, you know, you have the kids, right? Mm -hmm. And you have that whole lifestyle going on. Right. Do you, when you post, do you show any of the family life or anything? I don't. You don't. Okay, good. Um, I just have this weird thing about my kids being on. Okay, good. <laughs> like social public platforms. Right. Um, every once in a while, I'll put them on my stories, you know, but yes. that's the extent. Um, as far as personal life goes, I try to keep it off my page. Yes. Um, okay, see, and that's what I want to know because some yeah. people say that I have right in this chair sitting here that yeah. have, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers. You know, right. I started to put some of my personal stuff mm -hmm. and it really increased my following. They do. Yeah, and it's like, that's great. I just feel like I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I don't. It's okay. I, it's I would okay. like to though. I right. think I'll throw some things in there, but. Well, I know I saw in your story the other day, you were over at Disneyland and I yes. thought that was really cool. It yeah. just showed some of your personality. You had a great right. time. So, in fact, the first thing I said when, hey, were you at Disney? <laughs> yeah. yeah, Patrick, how was it? Oh, I was so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I know I appreciate that sometimes because I like to learn more about the artist. Right. And I get it that sometimes it's all about business, but I yeah. don't know, maybe sometimes in our business, because we so do touch man. people, because mm -hmm. we are really social, right. maybe, you know, seeing show on the other side is interesting. Yeah. I don't know, but it's yeah. up to anybody. But we did have a yeah. question already okay. here. And by the way, you guys, if you have questions for Christina, just, you know, plug them in. We love them. Okay. It says, do you find it harder to gain followers now versus when you first started? And I know the answer to that, yep. but go ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. A hundred times harder, right? Absolutely. The algorithm has really made things hard. Instagram, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, well, so. you know, here's the biggest thing that I think is a benefit. I know it didn't make it harder, yeah. but that auto reply stuff, which is kind of oh. lame, wasn't oh, it? Oh, very lame. You know, yeah. the Russians doing Cannot that and stuff. Yeah, it's it. not yeah. good. Yeah. I still see that. I think there's still some of them in other countries are doing that. Right. And it's just horrible, man, yeah. because that's not what, what this was all about, yeah. right? 
And that's not what it's all about. And we can tell when people are being genuine and when they're not and when yes. it is auto replies and stuff. And yeah. that's not what social media is all about. It's about, not really. you know, just I've made so many friends through social mm -hmm. media and everything. And it's all about that interaction, that genuine interaction. Well, it's funny for me, just from a personal standpoint, you know, I'm 55 years old. I'm older, so I wasn't in that generation. Mm -hmm. But I've stepped into it recently and I really appreciate it because it makes you more efficient if you use it correctly. Yeah. But it also can ruin your life. You know that. Right. <laughs> so if you use it correctly and put it in perspective, it's great because yeah. I saw you and it's like I know you in a way. Right. Like, right. right. I mean, exactly. you probably felt like, yeah, you know, same thing. Yeah. I know you. And it's yeah. like we just right there, right yeah, then. So exactly. there's no barrier, no wall, no yeah. getting to know each other. Yeah. I saw your kids. I saw this. I saw you see yeah. my kids. I mean, it's yeah. just great. <laughs> it so is. it really does um, make a difference with your clients. Now, here's the thing I want to ask you. Okay. Because it's been coming up lately in these interviews. Okay. okay ready? Okay. <laughs> so, you know, these people that have these giant followings, okay, like, mm -hmm. you know, 60, 100, 200, a million, they say that really it's the core 500 within your geographical area mm -hmm. that makes you all your money. What do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I would agree. Like, it definitely, I have quite a bit of followers, but the interaction that I have is so different from that number. Right. And I always notice the same people that are interacting yes. with me and everything. They believe in you, right? They do, yeah. And, yeah. And I, like, know every single one of them. I know their little profile pictures, you know. <laughs> we had a couple awesome. gals came in that are very savvy on social media. They said, you know, if I would do it all over again, they said, I would focus on my core 500 that are, that's in my geographical region mm -hmm. for the business. Right, right, right. Because it's just right. a moneymaker and you yeah. focus and you could spend more time with them. Yeah. When you have so many, it's like it, it takes so much of your time. It drives you nuts. It does, yeah. But she, the, us, the, uh, one of, a few of them said, I'll take 500 great followers yeah. than 50,000 people that I don't really know or inter ever interact mm -hmm. with. So exactly. I, you exactly. feel the same way? Yeah, yeah. So word of advice I mean, is? I, I love... <laughs> I, lo I love and I appreciate everyone that follows me and I think yeah. it's amazing, but it's definitely... From a business standpoint. From a business standpoint, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that is a trend that I'm seeing. Yeah. So good, you verified it. Thank yeah. you so much. I, I mean, <laughs> great for the great advice. You know, we have another one here. It says, oh God, what? you guys are not even cool. Is this a real... It's a real one? Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my God. She what? might not know. It Maybe. says, do you miss hair feathers? Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, Somebody I miss hair you. feathers because I made bank with those. Things. Oh, hell yeah. But remember, <laughs> it was like you'd go to the hair shows. Yeah. And it would be amazing stuff on stage. Yeah. Nobody would even look. They'd go, Do you have hair feathers? Yeah, totally. And totally. like the people making fishing yeah. lures and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. It was bad. No, fishermen like hated us. Oh, yeah. Because they we did. would always go to all the bait shops and buy all the feathers yes. and everything. Yes. And, yeah. And it got to the point where like we would go and they'd be like, No, we're not selling to you. No. No, I know. we can't buy our feathers. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Oh, we got another one? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Head, so yeah, I remember that. So now I'm not bringing those back, people. I'm not but doing But you know what's it. weird? <laughs> they just died one day, huh? They did. Like it from, was like they never happened. Right. Like it's never happened. Like if now if you have a hair feather, you're like, wow, that's different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that, Victor Paul asked that? He really did? Right on. <laughs> that's so funny. Victor Paul asked that. He's, he's one of our great friends. Yeah. So, okay. Now, let's get down to some looks here and we'll break them down, talk about it, okay. and see what you got. So what's our first look, guys? Ooh, wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Did you take that picture? I did not. I had a photographer okay. take that picture for me. Yeah, that looks like a lot of lighting set up and yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then a fan That's, and yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Me having to blow the hair up into the air with this like flat thing on it. Did know. you like push it up? Yeah, then, I had yeah, to push yeah. it up and get the hair to fly back and so tell us about, you know, t not everybody does photo shoots, you know, and they right. want to. Right. So tell us about how this all went down and t the prep and everything. Tell us a little bit. This looks <sighs> exciting. So much work went into this picture. I, um, I literally, I think when I posted it, I was like blood, sweat, and tears because literally I think I almost had like an anxiety attack. Wow. She has a ton of hair okay. and it is almost down to her butt. So anyways, I did this for a contest Okay. and it was for the Pulp Right Neon contest and I, she's my model. And oh, she by the way, do you, is this one of your clients? This is one of my clients. Okay, excellent. Yep, she's one of my clients, and she kind of lets me do whatever I want. And I had her come in. It took me about five hours just to color her hair. Next morning, we woke up, and we did the photo shoot. Okay, let me ask you a couple questions. Yeah. What did you start out with her? What is she a na what's she naturally? So, actually, she's a natural blonde. Okay, so it's a little easier. Mm, but we had been doing her dark, we had been doing a level four. 
oh, from about here to here. Yes, now you get a good and artificial color. And then she had pre-lightening, but I yeah. had to bring all the blonde back up. Not get a band. Not get a band. Because it's for a contest. And make so sure it's a, a nice blend. Yes. Color her roots, too. Yes. Because, you know, blonde roots, they come oh, in see-through. Oh, I know. Yes, yes. So I had to do that as well. And then go in and do the vivids. And the vivids alone, I think the application took me like two, almost two hours wow. just to put the vivids on. Like it's a nice, nice thing. So you just did it in block segments. Did you yeah. go boom, boom, boom? Yeah, yeah, so I just working from the bottom to the top. Okay. And each section had about, I think like seven different colors within yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like a really interesting blend in Mel. Yeah. Very yeah, cool. Yeah, it took forever. <laughs> so how many good shots did you get out of that? Is this the best? Oh, or? we got we got quite a few. Yeah. 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 I, I don't even think I posted all of them yet, yeah. but I got quite a few good well, shots. Well, what the thing is when you start doing with a fan or making the hair move. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, yeah. You get like so a, many different shots. I know yeah. I have one that I haven't posted yet. It's just straight on and her hair is like flying out like this. Oh, that's cool. It looks so cool. That is really cool. <laughs> I need to post that one. I'll do that. So she's your muse, basically. I mean, you could play with her. She's, she's one of them. She's yeah. Of them. I definitely yeah. have a couple girls who just let me do whatever I want, which is great. Yeah, so. That's awesome to have. Yeah. Great. I love that beautiful picture. Let's Thank look at the you. next one. Oh, oh yes. this is great color. I love so, this. So, I don't know if you guys recognize this client of mine, but this is Ashley Nell Tipton. She won Project Runway um, a couple years ago. And she lives in San Diego. Oh, she does? And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so she's been my client for a couple of years. And we did, we've always done kind of extensions, but this time we just kind of went for it and did yes. much longer extensions. Yeah. Tape in, clip in. I do tape beads. ins. Okay, tape ins. Yeah, okay. I do tape ins. What's your preferred brand that you like? Um, I normally use Hotheads okay. and the Hair Shop. So okay, great. I use both of those. Great, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So tell us about what you did here. Um, so this one, again, another like <laughs> brink of anxiety oh, yeah. attack. On the edge. <laughs> um, on the edge. And we always do purple on her. Uh -huh. And this time I know this kind of went so, silver. Kind of silvery purple, yeah. Which is Beautiful. funny because she always wanted silver, but I wasn't trying to do silver because I don't do silver hair. P.S. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, watch. <laughs> like we're bringing out some five-minute toning products uh -huh. coming out soon. Nice. And no. No battleship gray, no silver. Because why? Tell, tell, can you tell everybody why? So it's not. It coming doesn't out of my mouth. last, Thank you. people. And that's not it good for your clients. It doesn't last. Yeah. Like even I had silver hair recently, yes. and I have the ability to tone it like oh, every yeah. other wash. And you have like a magic wand to. too, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I give up. No, you know what? So far, awful. about five or six people have come in and said. They always want silver, and I hate it. It's my nightmare. And yeah. some of them say, I just don't even do it anymore. Like no, I don't. I don't. Okay, I don't and do that's it the reason. Yeah. Great. I think we have another question before we go on here. Okay. Um, but we'll get right back to this. Sure. Um, how, oh, how, okay, because you said something about extensions, so now they want to mm, know. Mm -hmm. So how do you charge for extensions? Still hourly? Um, Tapins are so quick. I so I can't really do an hourly for them because okay. they are really quick. Just a I beat. just have a base price okay, for cool. them. It's on your menu. Yeah. You know what to expect. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So exactly. tell us about this. Break it down. What's her normal? What did she start at? Okay, tell so she it. is a normal level three at her roots. Okay. Um, the before picture, I I didn't get the before before picture. So this is after I pre-lightened it. Okay. So I lined her roots. Um, the rest of it was just faded out color. And would you use 20 on that and just work it or um, what would you do? Yeah, I think I used about 25 volume actually okay. at her okay. root. All right. And then this was so long ago. It's so hard for me. Yeah, to but you generally don't <laughs> go forty on the roots. Like never, it's, there's no need. Never. There's oh, there's no, no need. need. No need. No. 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 no you, I mean, there are twenty five is like tops. Like yeah. I don't go above that. There's no need. Well, on the no. roots, think about it. It's it's not keratinized fully, so it comes up right. very very easily. Exactly. So good, exactly. Good and especially if they don't have like crazy band, yeah. you know. Yep. And then slow. Slow. Yeah. If you have the time to kind of just let them cook, yeah, yep. like do it. So much better. Did you see that recent post that was up about? leaving bleach on for because everybody said it stops working at a certain point they were leaving mm -hmm. bleach on so they left it on for an hour you know like okay. a 20 volume yep. then they left it on for 24 hours and if you look at the difference between on the hair that was left on for an hour mm -hmm. you would think that it wouldn't lift up more it right. was significantly lighter even after 24 hours it was amazing huh. so bleach does continue to work it, does. it doesn't work as rapidly we don't have time to sit around for no, that no 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 exactly but it right. does continue to work at a lesser level so yeah. when you're taking a coffee break and you say oh yeah you know i don't care or high lift tint it right. can go lighter yeah. so i don't know if you've ever seen that yeah. happen yeah but exactly people need to realize that it's all knowledge right yeah exactly so okay so you got her up and then yeah what, then what so happened? i got her up and then i actually did her color on her hair itself now while she was being lightened i did her extensions okay good. so we colored all those first yes. before we put them on her head and then did you know i did the root melt and then the rest of her color put in the extensions and there we go 
That looks great, man. I can now, from far away, I look at the picture, it does show a little more bluish, silvery, kind of purpley. Yeah, right. And then when I initially, I think you might have color corrected the monitor, but it looks looks like that. So yeah. that's doable, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I love it. I love it. And then Thanks. she's one of your clients that comes in all the time. Yeah. Love it. Yes. Okay, what do we have next? And then this one is... Ooh, nice um, braid. So I love this one because this was my model for the class that I taught with Isaac back in oh, January. Oh, okay. Right on. And so part of my class, I was teaching how you could do quick styles sure. for Instagram photos. Yes. And so this is the style that I just quickly did for everyone to kind of see. Like, it's simple. It takes, you know, like five minutes to do it. So you did some twists, interlocked mm -hmm. them, pinned them in. There you yeah, go, right? Yeah, a couple gold bobby pins, which was like kind of my little signature thing that I had been yeah, doing I like at the that. time. Right and on. There we go. And then tell us about the color. I mean, is that extensions yeah. or what's so going on there? So that is all her hair. Okay. And um, I have, I, I do a lot of custom mixing. So I think I had about like six custom mixtures that I had made okay. for this color. Sure. Um, she had a natural root, which is the dark that you see at the root there. And what is that, about a four or five? Or what yeah, she she's have? about yeah. a four. Okay. Yeah. Great. And yeah, so. Turned Just out nice. a lot of color melting. That's what I love to do. Yes. I love to melt different colors together like and yeah those hard lines are yeah. okay yeah like the greens were hot for a minute with with mm -hmm. the hard lines right 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 right. now i've noticed people are going to color melting even yeah. like way longer shadow roots things of that nature oh we have exactly. a question oh exactly. great we have another question here okay and the question is what is your preferred method of removing direct dyes i know there's a million ideas out there yeah so um, my preferred method is i like to use a lightener with a really low volume so i'll do like six volume or seven volume and I work in sections. So you're not just good looks, you're actually brains. Yeah. Hey, I <laughs> oh, like thanks. that, I like that. <laughs> so you don't need anything higher than that. I know, like, I know. Right? I know. Some I just, people are like, ooh, 20 volume, 30 volume. Like, yeah. no, yeah, we I don't know. need that. Yeah. So really, you know, low volume and it will take it right out. And I start in the back and sometimes before I even reach the front, this will be done. I do not let it sit on there. I will rinse that. Good rinse girl. it first the and then go it. back and finish the rest. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for talking about reality. That's good. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know, sometimes if people say something I don't agree with, I just be, I'm kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, but when I agree, I'm like, there you go. Yeah. Good job. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so she was, like I say, how long was that? That it was, a, I know it's a class. So yeah, it's a it was a different. class. Um, so just applying the vivids itself, probably, it usually takes me around an hour to an hour and a half okay. to apply the vivids. Sure. When I'm doing color melting, it kind of yes, takes yes. me a little bit longer. And I had already pre-lightened her to like a level 10 yeah. first um, okay. before the class had even started. That's so, good. Yeah. Because that's time. It is time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, the mermaid, people are always like, how long does it take you? Usually, I mean, like five, usually around five hours. Yeah. You think it's a double process. Yes, it is. So that yes. first couple hours is just lightning and yep. then you got to dry it and then you got to do the second one. Exactly. It's another two hours. I know. And you have to be you know? meticulous so you don't get any kind of banding. Exactly. And you, you know, no holidays. We call it, right. call them back in the day. Yeah. What do you guys oh, call Oh yeah, holidays. Oh my gosh, what, what I totally guys forgot call, that Yeah, term? remember that term? <laughs> what do you guys, what do you that. call them? What's your term for the, <sighs> you know, when there's streaks of color that you didn't get because your application was bad? Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't even have a term for it. I don't know. call them holidays. You took a little mental holiday and you didn't yeah. keep your, your mind on it. And then, oh, that's a holiday right yeah. there. And that's a vacation. And that's a, right. yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> cool. Let's check out the next one. Oh, wow. That's pretty. So and this, your gold bobby pins. Hello, yeah, signature. my gold bobby pins again. So um, this client does have extensions. Okay. And to add in that fullness, her her length is pretty long, but it is finer. So she wanted more fullness sure. and more length to play with. And tape ins once again, right? And tape ins okay, once again. Okay. Right, yes. Right. And uh, yeah, so we wanted to do some metallics, and then I had just gotten the new neons, and she was like, "Ooh, let's put pink in there." I'm like, "Yes, please, can we?" Right on. So we kind of did kind of like a shine line in there of that yeah. that bright pink. Very cool. Which made everything kind of now. She different. is she like kind of younger? Is she younger? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can tell just by her posture and stuff. Yeah. But you know, I've noticed I walk around sometimes. You don't see it a lot, but mm -hmm. there's older ladies that are putting. Oh these yeah, I have in. clients that yeah. are in like their 50s, 60s that yeah. I do vivids on too. Yeah, I don't talk to anybody that's uh, over 20 because you know I'm so young myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> just kidding, guys. <laughs> you got the joke. Man. Oh, the other question. Sometimes people don't get my jokes. I'm just yeah. seeing if you get them. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, how do you achieve a shine line? I know you talk. I I know you know, but yeah. What are you talking about? So something like this, um, I'm a shine line. Okay. 
well. I try to not make it perfect. So of course I'm doing my color melting and my blending. So I'm gonna have, you know, for this, for example, we'll yeah. say that I did like a metallic blue and then I'll do my pink, you know, section. But then you go horizontal and, and though instead of vertical, I right? go, right, yeah. exactly. And But I still work from the bottom to the top and I'm always conscious of where, okay, now if I lay this down, where the pink's gonna lie. Yeah. Next section, okay, where is it gonna lie? You have to th kind of think in 3D. You do. Yeah, you, you do. do. Yeah. 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 Okay. But that's why it's better to do it with color melting as opposed to like perfect lines. Yeah. That's a talent. I yeah. can't do that either. Yeah. Like the pixelated hair and like all that stuff. No. That's mm -mm. that's interesting. Yeah. Well, the thing about that too is it's very interesting, but I don't think there's a lot of demand for that necessarily. No. You know what I mean? No, so yeah. unless you're really into it, maybe right. it's better to go to a class where you're going to teach them practical stuff. Right, right, right. Just exactly. saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, no, totally, totally. But if you want to go, go ahead. And, yeah. Because some people are really art orientated. For and sure. That's great for them, but yeah. I just don't know the clientele yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's and all. my clientele, like everybody knows that I color melt a lot, so that's what right. And that's kind of me. trending. That's yeah. kind of you can get clients to do that with. Exactly. But don't be afraid to charge by the hour, and that's where right. me people are messing up. You know, number one, right? Because right. people are really frustrated. They're going, "Oh yeah, I don't make any money." I go, "Well, sorry." Yeah. 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 It's the labor of love, but it is. you got to pay the bills. You got kids, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. What do we got next? Okay, here's another one. Now this is a cute little braids and yeah. this, one, this turned out pretty cool actually. Thanks. So this is kind of like a some peekaboo placement in yeah. there with that rainbow. This the, is definitely a unicorn. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So this is the same girl that I did the twists on for my yes. class with the bobby pins. So okay. this is her again and I brought her up to a um a lab, a pulpray lab to do her hair. So What's going on with her roots? I mean, is it Shadowed, or did you go all the way down, that or what do you got? That is her natural root again. Okay. Yeah, right. we yeah. kind of just let it grow out. I'm like, okay. And it, I don't think I even had time to bleach her roots out. But yeah. honestly, I love a more natural look yeah. like that, I, I as think opposed it works. to like me where it's like solid all the way to the scalp. Mm -hmm. You know, with like blonde, I love keeping more of a natural root, and. I don't know. It just gives it a Well, it gives it a, a wearable a wearable uh, look. Exactly. I think it's more wearable mm -hmm. and it's more practical. So, exactly. I like the fact that we're doing the shadow rooting now. Right. Absolutely. Me too. Like when we're teaching balayage now or we're doing baby lights or balayage, you know, cuz that's mm -hmm. kind of the good combo. Yeah. It's like there's a lot of older people that are scared to get into hair painting. Luckily, right. I used to work for Schwarzkopf many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. So, I was already it was called Pintura and it okay. kind of failed. Uh -huh. But this was like 20 years ago we were doing this, right. but it didn't really take right. off. Right. And now I look back and I'm like, oh, look at all the hair yep. painting. I used to do that. Yep. <laughs> so now a lot of people that are doing only hair painting, I want to get them to the, the microfoiling, which mm, they yes. call baby lights. Right. Because there's right. way more control. It's the way the sunlight yep. approaches it, and mm -hmm. you can halo it, and that's where exactly. the sun hits. Exactly. And when you put the, put the hair in foil, what happens? You get more lightness, yep. and that gives it a more natural look. So yep. I like the fact that you're being conscious of that in your work as well. Thanks. So good job. Hey, hey, how you doing? You're unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead. Oh, we got another question. Oh, and the I other love question. All the questions, it, guys. I know it's Thanks. great. <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh, this is good. Somebody okay. loves you. Oh, okay. I hope they're not a stalker, but they love you. <laughs> I hope not. They too. said, do you, <laughs> do you ever offer salon shadowing um, for stylists to come in and watch you? Like, in other words, they they come in or they pay a fee yeah. or, and they work with you for the day or is that something that's a no-no? I've been or? asked that before. Um, yeah. People have contacted me through um, Instagram to ask me that. Um, right now I don't offer it. Okay. This might be something that I want to think about doing okay. since cool. I am getting so many inquiries about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, for me, my day is so packed and is so back to back and I have a small room and I got my assistant. Right. Got you. I'm just like, go, go, go the So whole for time. now you don't offer it, but for you're open to it in the future. But I think I, yeah. I think for the I'll right price? That. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Maybe just for fun. Just yeah, just for fun. For fun. Yeah. yeah, just for kicks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, this is on the lighter side. And this is cool how you use, is that a, would I consider that an orange that's in there? Yeah, like a coral, like a yeah, peachy okay. coral yes. in there. Um, so this was taken outside and I couldn't believe that my camera, my this is on my phone that took this picture, that it had picked up the color like this because this is how it looked in person. And the fact that my phone had picked up the pic the color so perfectly, I was so stoked. If you, so give, it light, stoked. If you yeah. give it light, it can do it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And you kind of get like all that shine from it too. Which... It looks like a podocarpus back behind there, the, the plant. Oh yeah, it might right? be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, kind of sick, but... but I know that. <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> okay, I have issues. Yeah. 
Um, so tell us yeah. about, I noticed, I see the root now. Yeah. That's about a Again, level five, natural, about, yeah. about a five. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I always feel like my vivid clients are like five and below. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I never have a natural blonde come she in. Thinks. She's like, I want to be, yeah. yeah <laughs> they really put me to work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that just added like uh, five hours to the process. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sheesh. Wow, that's cool. So, Thanks. and is she one of your normal clients or is she just a oh, You know what? Okay, so this girl, she works at one of the boutiques that I shop at oh. and she was already platinum. So, you're like, so yeah. I was like, of course my eyes are like, oh, I need to touch your hair. Yes. I need to paint it. Yes. So I said, I'm like, if, if you ever want to be a model, I would love to do your hair. Yeah. Um, here's my Instagram. Check it out. You know, let me know if you ever, yeah. you know, want to let me play. And, and sure enough, she was like, okay. That's great. You know? That's great when so, that happens, you know? Yeah. Doesn't always happen, but when you see Doesn't one, you, you're like, you know, this could really get my posts up. Yeah, this yeah, might yeah. be a good one. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, more questions. Look at you. Go, you miss Go out there and get them. Do you use your phone for photos or do you have a professional camera? Which do you prefer? Tell us what's going on there. So, um, I mostly use my phone. Okay. I do have a, a Canon DSLR yep. that I was using, okay. but I don't use it anymore. I just use my phone. It's so much quicker and right. it's just right there ready right. to post. And seems like you've got a pretty good lighting situation there. Exactly. Now, okay, talk about the pictures and when you post them and when you don't post them. Because if it's not right, just stay away? Or what do you feel? Yeah, if, if the lighting is not right, just don't even post it. Because um, I don't believe in, like, you know, filtering your pictures. Okay. Yeah, a little too much, right? <laughs> I think it's like crazy and you can tell when somebody has messed with their photo oh, yeah, too much. You can really tell. Yeah. yeah and, the and what about and watermarking? I, know, I didn't notice if you watermarked or not. A lot of people like so to watermark. So I normally do. Okay. I have had a situation where people have taken my work and claimed it as their yeah, own. Yeah, of course. And so I started watermarking like crazy, Good. and I normally do. I'm surprised this one doesn't have yeah, one like, on I it. Just, no, I, just, I, I think like watermark. this one had already like blown up everywhere, so I was like, it's right. pointless to put it on it now. But uh, I do watermark, and okay. it's just very simple, very small. You don't want that watermark to take over the picture. Right, I agree. You don't want it to be the focus. You want the hair to be the, fo yeah. the focus. Okay, well, that's good, so, great advice. Yeah. Oh, we have another question. It is, do you have models on hand for most of your vivids, or do you have a lot of vivid clients? Which which is the way the I have a lot of vivid clients. Good. So you're yeah. actually making money on it. Uh -huh. And they're they're yeah. They believe in you enough to mm -hmm. put out that cash. Yeah. Because it's expensive. It can be for sure. Absolutely. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I I have um, some girls that I do sponsor their hair. Okay. Um, but most well, when, okay, now that term sponsor, which mm -hmm. I use constantly mm -hmm. um, with Silas. Yeah. Uh, what do you consider your sponsorship? How do you work that? Um, basically, whenever I need to put more content out there mm -hmm. or, you know, I'm just feeling like creative mm -hmm. and I want to get somebody in, then I have a couple girls that I'm just like, hey, I want to do this color. And they're like, okay. And they yeah. just come in. So this is more for like my creative outlet okay, gotcha. that I have these girls that I sponsor. Gotcha. But also when I first started my page, that's how you're going to create that yes. content. You have to do free hair. Yes. You have to. Yeah. And you just grab people and... Yep. They'll let you do whatever and yep. there you, you go. Know, you get the post up there. One, two, three, and then there you go. And mm -hmm. then it takes a takes a while though. Because it does. They gotta realize consistency, mm -hmm. continuity, and quality, right? Right. Gotta do it otherwise right. it's not really don't put up crud. I No. It, it just doesn't work, right? No, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. So yeah. good advice. Yeah, yeah. Um, any more questions over there? Do we have any more pictures up there? I think Ooh, wow. Yeah. Now this is uh, the new neons. Yes. And you've got that under black lights. Under black lights. So at a club it's cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I did not take this photo. So my client right here, Mel, she is awesome and her husband is a photographer. Oh wow. And talk about a great client to yeah. have because basically it got to the point where I was like, Mel, I'm just not going to take pictures of your hair inside of the salon anymore because I know you're going to go home and have like a full bone photo shoot yeah. and you come out with amazing photos. That's awesome. So that's what she did here. Yeah. And, um, Beautiful. They, yeah, they created some awesome images I for saw me. your watermark there. Definitely there right it up is. in the corner. Yep. There it is. There it is. Okay. And I normally don't do it in color like that, but it just worked well with the photo. So. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just, she, she's awesome. She like always does these cool photos for me. Good to have a client like that, right? Uh, definitely. Definitely. And I think we have, we have one more, I think it is, and it's a video, right? I think. So this is Mel's sister, Meg, and um, they're a blog, bloggers, mm -hmm. and they have a Ardent Reverie on Instagram is their name. 
And this was a big transformation for Meg because yeah. as you can see, her roots were crazy long. So yes. I had to go in with Barbie foils in between everything, sure. lighten her up. And uh, she did have an idea of kind of where she wanted to go with her color, but again, kind of left it up to me what I wanted to do. And I don't make videos a whole ton. They take a ton of time. It's a lot of work, yeah. A lot of work. I wish I had more time to make more videos. Wow, um, those roots are cool. But this was cool. one where you like, you finish it at the end, you're like, wait, did I do that? Oh my God, I pulled yes. it off. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I was able to, yeah. Wow. Can't even tell where those dark roots were. <laughs> no. And I was just so, Great like, job. Oh yeah. Congratulations okay. I do know on what I'm one. doing sometimes. Every once in a while you're like, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, really. Because as I'm going through those projects, I'm like, this is so much work. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I get to the point where I'm like, okay, am I done painting yet? Am I done? And you're and like, what time end? is it? Oh, my yeah. I got to pick my kids up. I this totally, is not going to work out for exactly. me. Exactly. I'm like, I got to go. You like to call your husband. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? He gets those calls I'm, a lot. I've got the, yeah. I bet you, yeah. I, that's some of that work. He's used to it. Um, He's well, awesome. It's good that you have the support, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 We got another one. And do you ever have a breakup with clients? Ooh, why would somebody ask that? But okay. That could happen. Um, and I, is there any fist fighting involved? There's no fist fighting okay, involved. Okay, good. That's None. good. We like that. I have had to let a couple of clients go. Okay. And um, nothing really bad. How do you approach bad? that? How do you approach that? It just, by text? <laughs> actually, by text up because I hate confrontation. <laughs> yeah, right? So, yes, by text. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I saw this thing, a post on Facebook. He goes, why don't you just, like, if I'm going to get fired, just text me that I'm fired. I don't want to come in and be embarrassed. Right, right. So exactly. you feel more comfortable. I mean, I would like to do it in person. I would like to think that I could do that, but I just can't. Right. I can't look someone in the eyes. Yeah. I won't end up firing them. It's the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have had to do that in the past. It happens. Yeah. A lot of times it's maybe that you know, you've moved into a different area in your life or maybe that right. they just, you can't make them happy. And, and that's what it was. Yeah. And that was the situation yes. is that I just, everything you did each single time, they just never were happy. Right. And I'm like, I think there's someone else there that can make you happy and maybe. it's just not me. Yeah. So well, the energy, it's just too much, right? It's, I call them soul suckers. Yeah. I call them psychic vampires. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. That's a yeah. good one, right? Yeah. yeah. But soul suckers <laughs> is another one. Oh, we got another question. Yeah. But yeah, I agree by the way. Yeah. Yeah. You have to. You have to just for your like, for me, it was like for my own like mental sanity yeah. because your, your serenity. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Exactly. Yeah. Like when sometimes I, one thing I started doing when I was doing hair heavily is I wouldn't look at my book, like who was going to come in that day mm -hmm. because sometimes I would get just, it messed me up so bad. Right. That one person right. and it would screw your whole day up exactly. even though you just got to get through it. Exactly. And then eventually when oh. I went independent and owned myself that I could eliminate them. But when you, yeah. when I used to work for a salon, it was like, I had Harder to do, to do that. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm with yeah. you. So yeah. very good. Yeah. Okay, what is your favorite current trend and what do you see as the next big trend? Oh, gosh. Favorite current trend. Yeah. Um, my current <laughs> favorite is no more silver hair people. Yeah, well we Let's know that. Let's bring back the warm tones. Yes. Um, I feel like maybe the warm tones are trying to make their way in. Yeah. Let's I want to see more like I want to see more peach hair, I want to see more yellow hair, I want to see more pinks, more rose golds, all yeah. of that. Okay. Um, but I don't know that that's necessarily the trend that we're going towards. Right. I haven't really noticed anything specific. Have you? I just well, I noticed one thing. What? And it's not really positive. Uh oh. That everybody's Instagram page is starting to look the same, and it drives me nuts. Because uh, everybody's copying everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, definitely. I want to see more creativity. Like I, I know. say, I want to see some different tones and different mm -hmm. techniques, and maybe yeah. like a fire shatterer. I don't know. Like yeah. you know, tap. Remember the ends for a minute? Yeah. Like, that's pretty hot. I don't right. know. I don't know. I'm yeah. just noticing, you guys, everybody's starting to look the same. It is. And it when is. that happens, it starts to change the trend. Yeah. So what about yeah. cuts? What about length? What about extensions? What about uh, curly? What about perms? What about, what are you feeling? Length, I still, I feel like extensions are still, like, definitely yeah. around. They People, are. People, women are going to want long hair. Yeah. I have them myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and as far as cuts go, I, I love right in here. I love the lob. The lob. Yeah. With the just, bangs. Yeah. Oh, That's, bangs. Can we bring bangs back? Fringe, bangs, fringe. whatever they call it. Yeah. Yes, we call fringe. it bangs in America. They yeah. Call it fringe in I Europe. know, right? But yeah. Um, fringe. I love fringe. I've always liked fringe. Yeah. Yeah. And all different types. I like micro fringe. Yes. I love a blunt fringe. Yeah. PCness. I've seen these big, these big fringes yeah. and there's, like I say, if you have the facial structure and the hair, mm -hmm. you can pull it off and yeah. it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's definitely cool. Definitely. So you're open to anything, but by I, the way. Anything. Yeah. 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 
Okay. Well, you guys, you got to jump on it. Education. Things are changing, yes. you know. Yep. And if you like what you see here with Christina Dunn, then, you know, give her a ring, give her a call, follow her up on Instagram, and uh, get a class going, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, advance. Exactly. If you like what you see here. And we yeah. do. We loved it. It was great. And you know what I like about Christina? She is honest. She tells you what's up. She's not going to blow smoke <laughs> up your, you know, where. No, never. No, it doesn't happen like that. Never. So no. she's in San Diego. You know, if you guys, people travel to come see you, right? They do. Mm -hmm. It's a great thing. You come to yeah. San Diego, you get a class, you write it off. Yeah. You go to the zoo, you go to the Balboa Park. Absolutely. I mean, it's just amazing yeah. down here, guys. We got the best weather anywhere the best. in the world. So yeah. make sure you come see Christina. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you so much. And thank everybody so much. And we'll see you next time. Hey, remember, get on YouTube and basically subscribe because every time we have a new video, we'll just send it right to your phone. If you have time, watch it. If not, just turn the darn thing off, right? I don't care. Yeah. It's all about heritage <laughs> power. And we're going to get more power that we deserve through education and knowledge and people like you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye.